I met with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Well, we're on to race number eight, where we close things off over 1,400 meters. Phillies and Mayor 74 handicap. And um, whilst we've been doing the show, which is recorded a day before, uh, Ryle's been keeping an eye on the scratchings, and uh, he tells me that uh, there is a scratching here in race number eight now of number four, Just Be Nice. And we've already recorded race number... What was it? Race number seven, Rael. Uh, so number six is, is also a scratching. So if you're listening into this preview, I know we did race number seven, uh, but it was already recorded. And we're now on to race number eight, where those two horses for Candace Bass are scratched. So you can take note of that. Race seven, number six, and race eight, number four. So what's it now? A field of nine that go to post Rael. And there will be adjustments in the betting, so I'm not going to read it out because at the time of recording, just be nice was five to two, so there are going to be adjustments there. Uh, I think the favourite will remain to be between us between numbers two and nine. Yeah. Between two and nine, I, I don't know which one will end up, but I know uh, maybe it'll be close up between the two, two and nine. So I've already given my PA, my two, three no, numbers were two, four, and nine. So four is out. I'm very happy with my numbers. Yeah, numbers two and nine for the place accumulator, but. I can't be you know, confident going into the race for the pick six with both those horses. So, But two and nine for the PA, are you happy with that? I'm happy with those numbers, Dees. Uh, my top selection is uh, going to be number two, Dollar Dime. Now, she was a winner last time out and she meets Paul Some Sugar on me on one and a half kgs better terms, which uh, is a huge advantage. She, she gets a one and a half kgs off the back and Paul Some Sugar on me doesn't. I thought she won a nice race last time out um, over track and trip and uh, James Kobedi the Harbour is riding with a lot of confidence at the moment from a two draw he'll be able to place his daughter of legislate uh, have her in a nice striking position and I think turning form she could uh, she could finish off a race quite nicely you've got uh, poor some sugar on me who gets the services of Richard Furry for the very first time she's track and trip suited so she'll be there or thereabouts once again and then you've got a horse like number three star choice who you can uh, never leave out. She's. Uh, How many times has she found me out? You know, I, I liked her earlier on in her career, but when she hit the uh, age of seven, I said, mm. "Ah, does she have that ability?" That she, she showed her three starts yeah, back. She won she a good did. race, and she won a, in a penultimate start. She does have a bit to find on her last start with the uh, dollar a dime, but uh, she's always that. Uh, she's not the most reliable, but uh, when she does put her best foot forward, she's certainly. Uh, capable of getting involved and uh, course and distance too. So in terms of the pick six, I think she's definitely a runner that uh, needs to go into the play. But uh, number two, Dollar Dime, that's going to be the, the top choice for me. So what's, okay, we agreed on two and nine. So what's the pick six back up? We've got uh, nine runners go to post. Can we narrow it down to four runners? I'd say two, three, nine could be could be good enough. These, what Would you include a horse like number 10, Contra Fiscum, into the play? You know, if I have to look for one more runner, uh, I don't know how good the source Viance Queen could be out the maidens because when she won over 1600 meters, she really won a good race. I know it was at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. She's yet to try herself on the surface, but her form lines, you know, have held up very well. So yeah. she's the unknown for me in the race. And I don't know how much improvement to come after that maiden win. I don't know, you know, how well she's rated by the stable. All that I do know is that when they stepped up to 1,600 meters last time out, she made it look very easy. She was the odds-on shot. I think uh, this trip, 1,400 meters, is no issue for her. And when a handicapper you know, has given her this rating of 80, uh, we have to see where she fits in the pecking order at this level. So I'd like to include her as the unknown in the race. So I agree with you, numbers 2, 3, and 9. And if I had to pick out one more, it'll be number 5. Yeah, number five, Beyond Screen, definitely open to significant improvement. I think, uh, I think, uh, I think you could be right with that. With that, uh, those four horses, these, I think we could be safe with those numbers. Well, that is it, Ryle. Uh, we've uh, managed to try and narrow things down in the most of the races, but a few less races look very tricky. Especially race number one, these. It looks to be uh, a nightmare start to the barport, but if the guys manage to come through with a limited spin, I think it's job well done. Well, thanks to Ryle Radhakrishna for his input on the show for uh, the 10th of April, where we race at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the Pally track. Thanks to the entire team and Gallup to be a valued racing fan. 
Thank you for your support of uh, South African horse racing and hopefully it turns out to be a wonderful day for you. Uh, find all the winners, make a huge profit and until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gashley. Uh, my name is Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.